welcome everybody to the HFMA Annual Conference 2016. Wow, what a year we've had. One of the most momentous years to be presiding over the association. Stepping up to a year of significant events. We need a finance function which is resilient, joined up, equipped to play at the top of our game and led in a way which gets the very best from all of the rich talent at our disposal. Let me thank you all for the energy and inspiration you're putting into tackling the challenges and opportunities day in, day out. I just urge us all to have courage, to make sure we're constantly at the forward edge of change rather than holding it back, to make our mark on the vital challenges we face over the critical months and years ahead, and to use what is an unparalleled opportunity to build our collective skills and experience as what I regard as the best finance team in the business. There is no doubt we can do more. The finance profession is best placed to force and facilitate good decision making by helping present people with options. It's half time, one nil up. I'm a Newcastle supporter, so fully expect that and get beat at the last minute. Um, but I'm going to be fighting till the last minute as well and I expect you to do so. Demonstrating the potential gains from variation is easy. Unlocking that variation involves everybody in the NHS working differently. We are in the midst of a huge reorganisation. We're going to have to have a massive waiting list initiative because we're heading for four million elective waiters. And you will know far better than I that nothing drives an elective waiting list initiative like PBR. These are the views of you as the NHS finance professionals and what we try to do is we try to use that to inform what the NHS finance professionals are saying the current issues are and what needs to be done about NHS finance. no longer bury your head in the sand, you've got to think about the money, because if you don't, the person that's affected more than anybody else is the little old lady in the bed. So can we do it? Absolutely right we can, but we've all got to think differently, work differently, and I think we've got to critically look at all our own departments. It is an absolute honor to be able to join you all today and really share with you a little bit about what really is on the mind of the CFOs in America. This is a fabulous opportunity to thrive, not just survive through all this craziness, but how do I take what I am given and how do I thrive? It really does, though, give me great pleasure to hand over the presidency to Mark Orchard. We and our colleagues will continue to work together to continue to find even more efficient ways of providing high quality services and also to provide a good experience to all of our colleagues who dedicate their careers to the UK's best loved institution. The NHS is about care and services, but it's also a function of the people that we employ. Our business is personal. Everyone counts. I'm a 
think you just catch up with loads of friends, network, um, see some good speakers. Social networking, massively important, I think. We've just, the talks we've had today demonstrate that we've got to be doing things more consistently, whether it's in England, Wales, Scotland, um, and these sort of events are going to help us understand uh, better how we can get together and do that. It enables um, um, companies like ourselves to showcase what our products are and to provide um, best value for money to all the NHSs. I think when you're on your own in your own organisation you feel like you're very isolated and at least chatting to other people who are in the same boat really helps. I think it's really good to share learning and learn from each other. Best practice, see what other trusts are doing that are uh, that are really good and that you can bring back to your own trust. So yeah, it's, it's just learn from each other. That's what it is, NHS is one big organisation, so it's got to learn from each other. Welcome to our annual dinner and awards ceremony this evening. I am pleased to announce that we had a significant number of entries across all categories for our awards ceremony this evening and the qualities of entry improves year on year. The award for this year's Finance Director of the Year goes to Annette Walker from NHS Bolton Clinical Commissioning Group.